What's up guys, welcome back to the Football Vlogger. As you can see, the lights are on, which must mean it's a Tuesday, right? Today we're off to watch Buzzard United versus Tilbury. It's going to be quite an even game tonight, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Buzzard currently sit 14th from the table uh, on 26 points, and Tilbury currently sit 17th with 19 points. It's a big one for either team today. Uh, Buzzard and United... If they win the game today by at least two goals, they have the possibility of going into 13th. And if Tilbury win today, um, they'll be overtaking Gorleston and going out of the relegation playoffs. A massive game for either side today. Right, so let's look into the stats of either team here. Brother and United, um, their last results have been a loss, a loss, a draw, a loss and a win. Now, you may think that's not very appealing. Obviously, the win was against Stowmarket, which is mad, really. Stowmarket are currently pushing playoffs. Um, a team in 14th to be beating someone like Stowmarket is crazy. But then you hear what's happened afterwards. Shane Temple, Brotherton's number nine, scored the goal for them in that game in the 58th minute. He goes and gets himself sent off. Yeah, you heard that right. He went and got himself sent off ahead of this massive game tonight. But Tilbury's ride hasn't been any smoother. They currently have... Um, they haven't actually won a game in the last five. Um, they've had a loss, an abandoned game, which was against Holbridge. They, was currently, they were turning up at the time, um, and I remember it was very foggy, and ended up the referee just postponed the match. Uh, but they were winning 2-0, which means that we'll go to a replay. So there's that 2-0 in that game won't count for anything. Uh, and they got three consecutive 2-0 losses. To Lowestoft, then Whittam, and then to Grays. Now, the ones to watch in today's game, probably Alex Clark for um, Tilbury. He's a rapid, rapid winger. Gets the ball, he drives down that wing, he crosses the ball in. What he, what he can do off of the ball, running-wise, in his, in his stamina, is unreal. Then we've got Butherton as one to watch. Now, you know what I'm going to say here. And he's not playing tonight. It's Shane Temple, so he won't be the one to watch tonight. The one to watch, to be fair, he has, he's been had he's had a, quite a few good appearances for Butherland. Uh, of course, he did score an own goal against us um, at over at our ground over at Lens Hammond. Uh, it's Kai Jude. He's a centre back, and in the last few games, he's been getting he's had decent decent performances. He scored um, he scored in the defeat to Lowestoft, and. Since then, he, he seemed like a very solid centre-back when he played us over at our ground. Now, before we head off, the last thing is, the last time these two teams faced, it was 2-2. But, don't let that score get ahead of you. Because since then, Tilbury have gone under new management. They've, gone, they've signed some brand new players who obviously haven't been doing the wonders for them, getting three consecutive losses in a row. But... So many people have left Tilbury Football Club. Most people are going to Holbridge, some going to Romford. It's quite sad to see everyone just leave Tilbury. But it is what it is. It was 2-2. Kai Jude, the man who I said to watch for, scored the last minute equaliser against them. It was right at the start of the season, this game. Uh, but yeah, tonight is going to be an interesting one. It, 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 it's, 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 it's been raining outside. So I'm, I'm going to have to wear my coat tonight. Uh, but I'll see you all at the game. Or in the car. now arrived here, the Stuart Bingham Stadium, or the Hive, the Brother United call it. Um, it is raining. Um, ignore the fact I've got a hat on, it's freezing cold, it's like two degrees out here. Um, should be growing with football tonight. It's literally, we arrive at 15 minutes, goal kickoff. Um, it, it's not busy at all, it wasn't expected to be busy tonight. I'm probably guessing it'll be around 100 at night. Um, yeah, it's, the ground is, other one is the grass pitch. Um, nothing really else to say. They've got two 
I did have two stands. They've got a big stand over this side, over over there, and then they've got the the one beyond the goal, which is where are we? Go at the goal. Where at the goal? Where at the goal? There. So, um, yeah, it's going to be. Oh, my score prediction. I'm going. I'm saying nil nil. I'm just putting it like that. Uh, Til Tilbury, no wins in the last few games. So. Could be totally lost tonight. Uh, rather than, of course, winning their game, um, away to Stone Market. But Shane Temple, their goal scorer, getting sent off after lashing out after having his shirt pulled. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be an interesting match tonight. I've got the camera to do the long shots. Let's get into the game. Close. 15 minutes in here, nothing's happened. A few counters, uh, Baldwin did just miss a set uh, went down where where the top of that is, where Christian North is. He kicked it at him, um, come back out again, and back at Christian North again. Because they're up the other end of the pitch, need to go score from here. But nothing's really happened, I've, I've had nothing really to film. I've been eating as well, come hungry. Right, food and drink done, or the food is done. Uh, I had a bees burger. To be fair, it weren't bad. Um, couldn't really taste the cheese. But the, the bacon was quite, I don't want to say overkill, but it was nice. Uh, and the cheese and chips, well, they're not cheese and chips really. They're chips with grated cheese on top of them. The, the chips, the cheese weren't melted. It was, it, it, it weren't great. Uh, so I'm giving the food for Bubbledon. Ooh. I have to give it. I have to give it a six or a seven, really. It cost me ten pounds as well, which is a bit much. So you're going to knock on the coffee there. Uh, thanks, no, I'm going to. I'm going to say six out of ten for the food here. Really scrappy from both teams, really. Uh, a chance up on the, the far end of the pitch. Uh, this is good football here by Bother then. I mean, I'm driving down the line here, Bother. He's going to hit it. The floor. It's David De Gea base save. It's cleared away by Tilbury. Uh, no, there's a chance down there. Down at the end of the pitch. Um, keeper spilled it, really. Uh, but they did a maze to get it clear. But Tilbury are back on the tech now, though. They cross it in. It's cleared away. And... Buzz another clear. Buzz down the attack now on the far side. He hits it. Spilled by the keeper. The corner ball here. Right, by the corner now. The ball in. He just spills it, but he's given a foul. Bit away. So we're throwing the ball here though now. And Butherland could break this. Oh, we lost the ball straight easily. We're 41 minutes in. 41 minutes in now. Literally nothing's happened in the last 20, 20 25 minutes. Um, yeah, it's cold. It's literally nothing is happening at all. Children uh, had chances. Bathen had chances. Apart from nothing else, really. And Bathen are now through now. He squares it across. Takes a touch. Two on the ball here. Corner, oh, no. corner ball. Balladon, great move by Balladon. Right, it's half time here at the Hive. Uh, Balladon nil, Tilbury nil. Um, what a fucking boring game. Um, yeah, nothing's happened. Literally been hoofball. Um, I've never seen more Southgate football in my life. Um, it has not been a game for the the punters really. Um few chances really for either side. Um Brotherland have had chances. The pitch is really not helping Christian North, the Tilbury goalkeeper. Um many times now he's been spilling it in dangerous areas but the defence has been there to clear it up. As as I said in the opening, 
It's been, it's, it, I can see it being nil nil. I really can. It's like a boring, boring, boring game. And until we put in good form, but neither bother them. Brother, that that guy, um, Shay Temple, is actually playing tonight because uh, it happened on Saturday. The band not kicking until tu until next Saturday. So I won't play this next Saturday coming. But no, it's been hoofball. Both teams not in great form, of course. Both of them did, did beat Stowe Market, but come on now, it's one game out of many that have lost. And it's the guy who I told you about, the guy in the preview I said to one to watch for, Shane Temple, the ball hoofed up the pitch, he's gone to the winger, ball in, and Shane Temple, if there was like a scoring, it, again, the Christian North man, again, and they throw again now, they throw again, Corner the ball, corner the ball, wow, they've really turned it on now by the way. Christian North went right through his hands and went into the back of the, pit, back of the net. It's now 1 0 to Brotherhood. This is a mad ton of events here. I thought it would be a 0 0 game. It's 1 0. And you can't really sit on camera, but you know we're in Brotherhood when in the second half. The screen breaks. Yeah. I'll post a picture of it now. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like it's like going away, getting in the air. Yeah, right. Right. Oh, yeah. Look, it's still oh, yeah. not win the greatest oh, yeah. night, Christian. No. Oh, yeah. uh, straight to a brother of value heads it. No, 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 no. Tilbury try to counter here. The ball is played over. Good touch there by the 11. Oh, he does his man. And he gets a foul out of it. Now, I wasn't sure if that was a foul or not, to be honest with you. The Brotherman fans will take that, though. He wipes him out as well. Yeah. That keeper is horrific. And it's just one of the posts. Set it, set it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Great match to take. It's a great match to take by Christian Hall. Probably the first save ever, ever made in this game. It's a goal, it's a goal. It's a goal. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Oh! It's gone in! It's gone in! It's 2-0! It's 2-0! Rather than make two. And everyone goes crazy at the hive. The hive is absolutely... The hive has gone off here. It's 2-0 to Bundledon. Turns on the ball now. It's the key. Yes, let's go! Oh, oh, great sign. Great ball, great ball by Levin. Oh, he's very good.
What a goal! What a goal! Three one. Referee! Referee! Really bad foul here. Yeah? He's gone right through him. The Motherland fans do not like what we've just seen. Um, yeah. The Tilbury fans are over there. The Tilbury fans haven't spoken the whole game. But he's now a throw in. He's not being given the foul. And now going into the corner. Wow, what a second half. It's ended, the game now ended, rather than three, two of them won. Um, wow, 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 crazy. Second half, I told you that was the second half. I said first half, nil nil, written all over it. And rather than, I just pulled it out of the bag. Shane Temple. Shane Temple, I told you to watch out for him. He's gone and done it for him. Scored the first goal, we the advantage. And then the second goal goes in from the corner, the third goal in from the deflection. And then of course, Tilbury then getting their goal down the far end, off the chest, volley into the top left hand corner. Yeah, it was a crazy, crazy game. Four goal thriller. And Butherland win, which is Butherland now that puts them, um, that now put Butherland into, I think, 12th. Um, and Tilbury now sits there where they are, but they've got minus two more goal difference. And that will end up the video here at the highest. Uh, great, great, great game. First half is very poor. The second half, yeah, you can just see the response from the players. They're all quite over now. So thankful to the Butherland fans. Yeah. Crazy, crazy second half. Crazy second half. But a deserved win, Butherland. Second half, I just told they, they flicked that switch. They flicked that switch and they woken up. And Brotherland have just got a deserved win and they've now climbed up here to 12th place now. And I said, Brother, uh, the, the two will be now dropping two goal difference. But yeah, crazy, everyone's loving it. Brotherland are all going to be celebrating in the trains and rooms. Yeah. I'll do a proper outro in the car. Now on the car on the way home. Um, Brotherland 3, two will be 1. Uh, first half was absolutely sh. Um, Second half, rather than woke up after their first goal, uh, kept putting on more pressure. Tilbury got their lucky goal right at the end. Um, and yeah, it doesn't really help Waker in, uh, as Waker in needs now three goals and a win to help them on the same points and stuff as Tilbury. Um, but we've got Tilbury on the weekend, there won't be a vlog for that one. Might be a vlog next Tuesday. Uh, I think we're probably going south end. Um, but yeah, see you all in the next video.